Hello, 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 my friends. Hey, listen, it's Coach Hamilton here, and I want to walk you into this video. Um, for those of you that have been asking me about how it is that I change out uh, the header on the blogs that we get from the free blog factory right down here, um, let me minimize this out of here. Uh, this is my website right here, and, and the free blog factory, a few months back, we we were we were all kind of getting into the blog phase so to speak so that we could brand ourselves online and the free blog factory they give you a free self-branded blog and to be honest with you they're incredible blogs this is one of their blogs right here this is a blog that I have the only problem is, is that they come with a very generic uh, header and you know if you want to pay them ninety seven dollars they'll go ahead and they'll make you a header similar to this well some of you, you know, I've told some of you that, that you can actually make these things pretty easily and pretty quickly yourself. Um, the one thing that I do want to tell you, though, is that you want to have some type of a picture of yourself, I truly believe, on your header. So that people can see your face right away, they can see you. And, and then obviously I like to have my name on there, so to speak, and then what it is I do. Uh, uh, you know, the big headline and, and then the subheadline. And then right here, I just put this in there in a different color and a different size, just so they could see that um, I like to keep things simple and I don't like a lot of BS. So, anyway, you can make these things fairly simple. You don't need to pay the $97, okay? And so, one of the first things I would do if I were you is you need to get a picture of yourself. Uh, and then you're going to have to make a transparent background so that it's like cut out so that you can put it on there. Now, I'm not going to go into doing that because... Um, that takes a little bit of time and, and you know but 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 what I will do is I'll take you here and I'll show you a little secret that that every one of you should know anyway let's go to file here and let's go with a new tab the neat thing about the internet and I know this as a teacher in high school and stuff is that uh, let's go to Google is that you can find out anything you want to find out on the internet now Google is the number one search engine on the internet okay and so I could type in here um, how to make image background transparent. Oops, I got to spell right, don't I? I need to learn how to spell. Let me get that back. And I got to take the A out of background. Terrible speller. Sorry about that, folks. How do I make an image background transparent? Okay, well, then I can go ahead and I can find all sorts of little uh, tidbits, you know, on how to do that. But you know what? I'm not really a person that likes to learn things by reading. So what about if we were to, let's click the back button. What about if we were to go to the second largest, um, the second largest, uh, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Search engine is the word I'm looking for. The, the second largest search engine is YouTube. And believe it or not, they predict it within just a couple months, YouTube's going to take over Google as being the number one search engine. And the reason is, is because people would rather watch videos than they would read content. Okay, so now we're here, we have the search bar at uh, YouTube, let's go to how to make an image background. How to make an image background transparent. There you go. It even shows. There we go. Right there. Let's put the, click that. There it is. I'm going to search it. And there you go. Here's all these video clips that will show you how to make an image background transparent. Okay, so you can do all that yourself. Okay, go in there and learn, and and, and that's something that you you need to figure out. You know, if you're really going to have an online business, if you're going to do these things, you need to be able to get out of your comfort zone and learn new things. Okay, and trust me, between Google and YouTube, you can find out just dang near anything you need to find out and how to do it. But you just got to invest a little bit of time and a little bit of energy. Okay, so there you go. Now I'm going to show you from here. We're going to assume that you already have your 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 transparent picture background okay we already know we got that right well then the next thing we need to do and you're going to need to write this down but let's open up my back dashboard this is my back office right all I did when I went into my dashboard is I went down to appearance 
and then I went down to header and I clicked on header and by doing that then it opens up this little page and this shows me the header that I currently have on my blog and then it's going to ask me to upload an image that I want to replace it with well that's what we're going to build we're going to build that header that you're going to replace that with but why I'm here now is because I want to know what the size is that I have to have and it says that I have to have an image that is exactly 960 by 150 pixels okay so knowing that bit of information let's go back and let's go to Google actually we just need to get us an address bar up here it doesn't matter if you go to Google or not just open up a window and go a browser and then type in www.xheader.com okay and by doing that that's going to take you to a website where you can download a free software that's going to allow you to build the header that we want to put on uh, on our on our blog okay so what I am encouraging you to do right now is pause this video and go download and when you get there all you gotta do is go down the page and you'll get to a spot and it says download your free copy of Xheader now and then just click it and download it like you would download anything and then run the software when you get it and we'll be ready to rock and roll okay so then once you get that downloaded then come back here and let's go ahead and, and start the, the video again but for right now pause the video and get it downloaded so you have it on your desktop alright okay so I can go ahead and close out of that because people now have the Xheader on their their desktop so what we want to do now is we want to start working with it so let's open up let's go ahead and go to where it's stored on our computer mine happens to be right here we're going to open it up because of Camtasia it just does kind of operate kind of slow right now it's asking me if I want to upgrade $47 and get 5,000 quality headers across more than 50 categories I don't I don't care about that I, I just no I want to build a simple header and that's it I don't want to pay for anything and so um, while we're waiting for it to do something I don't know what I just did why it's not there it is okay so here's what we're gonna start out with now obviously we're going to start out with a new one we want something new and it's going to ask us do we want to load a template from the library now when you get the X header you can actually fill in a little bit of piece of information I believe and you can get different templates for free for these from these guys and stuff and so I've already done that um, but anyway we're going to load a template from the library Okay, and they have all sorts of different header. Um, they have all sorts of different header templates across all these different areas that you see right here. Um, I chose down at the world. I wanted the world, and when it gave me that, then I looked at all of these. But ultimately, I chose this one right there because I just liked how the, the color was and, and I liked how the, the light kind of radiated off the, the globe there it just made it kind of look 3D it looked really cool so so what I did then is I just double clicked it and there we go voila it's there's where we're gonna start building our, our blog header right there there's what we're starting with so the first thing I want to do is I want to put my picture in here right so I'm gonna go to image and it's gonna ask me where it is and I want this one right here it says coach Rick transparent so we're gonna get that one we're gonna open it up and boom there it is it's right there so we gotta resize it and you got a resize box here that you just got to you know you gotta move it around a little bit to resize it to get the way you want it okay and now then you can just take and, and drag and this picture anywhere you want and I'm gonna drag him right over here we're gonna put him about right in there just like that okay there now we got our image in there okay so now we want to put our text we know we want to put my name up there so let's just go over here and let's get a text box we're gonna put a text box in there right down here is where we're going to actually do the writing for that text box I, I'm gonna use Tahoma I really like um, the font style Tahoma the reason I'm going so slow is because with this Camtasia Studio it uh, has a tendency to drag a little behind there we go so we want Tahoma 
Um, we're going to want it in bold. So let's just go ahead and type in Rick Hamilton. Okay. And that's obviously way too small. So let's go ahead and let's jump this puppy up. I'm thinking what? Maybe. Let's see what 48 does. There you go. 48 is pretty good size. So we got 48 size. Let's put it up here. Let's kind of center it to where we want it. Okay. We'll put it right there. Now we want to put kind of a sub headline in here because they see your picture. We have just a little bit of an image background. We don't want anything that's going to be too distracting. Okay. Don't let it be distracting. You want them to be able to see your face. You want them to see your name. Then they want to, you want to be able to tell them what it is you, you do. Okay, because believe it or not, people are going to spend about five to ten seconds when they go to your blog, and they're going to look at your header, and they're going to spend five to ten seconds, and that five to ten seconds that they look at your header is going to tell them whether or not they're going to click away or stay there. Okay, so don't make it too busy, too cluttered. Make it nice and simple. Okay, and so I'm going to add another piece of text in here as a subheader, and in that information, I'm going to write home business. Solutions specialist. Okay. And obviously that's a little big, so we better if I can find my cursor now. And it's printing. Uh, we're gonna drop that back down, I'd say to about 20. There we go. And now let's go ahead and drag this to where Don't have a steady hand. There we go. So there's our, our header heading, uh, Rick Hamilton, and then there's the subheading right there. And then let's just put a little something down here. Um, like I use the one, you know, keep it simple, right? The kiss. So let's add another little text box. And let's put that little text box right there and, you know, kiss. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, keep it super simple. Now it's a little big and plus we want to change the color I think because we already got the white there. We want this to stand out a little different. So let's jump this size down. We don't want it to stand out too much. Let's just go clear to 16 with it. Okay, we got it at 16. Now let's change it from white. And let's go to, I think there's some gold or orange or something on here. That's orange. Let's go to, uh, right there, there's gold. Let's make it gold. Okay, so there we go. We got a nice looking little header there. It's it's not, you know, too cluttered. It it shows a picture of me. It shows my name. Um, it, it shows what I do. And and it, and I put this little tag on there because I want people to know that I believe in keeping things super simple. Okay, and that's what what we want. All right. So now we have our header. This is exactly what we want. Now we got to come up here. and We got to go to save as. So we're going to click save as. We want to save it as a JPEG. And then it's going to ask us uh, which one of these we want. We've got superb, quality, excellent, or very good. Well, we want superb. So let's double click that. And then it's going to ask us to save it to the desktop. We're going to title it Rick, Rick Test uh, Pick. Rick Test Pick Header. Let's just go Rick Test Header. That way we know for sure what it is. All right, now it's going to save it to the desktop. All right, so now let me minimize this and let's go to our desktop, and here it is right here. This is the header that we created. Now, here's our problem. This header is not the right size. Remember I told you we needed to be 960 pixels by 150. Well, here we go. We have to resize this. So we need to get another little piece of software that you can put on your desktop, and it's free that will allow you to resize pictures. Okay, so let me close this and I want to open up my picture sizer program which is right here. And the name of it is Pix Resizer. You can see right there. So, uh, let's, let's just do a Google search real quick and see where it's at. Let's uh, get us uh, another browser here, open up another tab, and let's type in here, Pix Resizer 
Dot-com. And let's see if that takes us to where we want to go. Nope. So what we're going to do is do a Google search. Let's go Google. Let's go to Google.com. And then let's type in here, picks. Image resizing, do it with Pix Resizer right here. Okay, it says blue5.pair.com, whatever. So let's just click there and let's see if that takes us to where we want to go because we need this software. We've got to download um, the software because this is what we're going to use to get the correct size. Pix Resizer, free image resizer. Okay, you're not going to get any 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 bugs or viruses or anything like that, but, it, but this is what it is right here. Um, and now you just need to download this and you want to download uh, the current version now download an older version compatible with Windows 95 if you have Windows 95 obviously you want to download this but if you got something newer than that then you want to download it from right there okay I already have it so I'm not going to download it so go ahead and and pause this video get it downloaded so that we can utilize it alright and then come back to this video Okay, so I'm going to close out of pick size, sir, um, and I'm assuming that everybody now has it on their screen. I have opened mine up, okay? Now it's going to ask you to load a picture. So we're going to load a picture, and we're going to, this is going to show everything that's on my desktop, and we want the Rick header test, and it's right there. So we're going to open that up. There it is in there. I'm going to come down here to custom size. We're not going to maintain an aspect ratio. We're going to get rid of that, but we know it needs to be 960 wide and it needs to be 150 tall. And then we're going to save that picture. And it's going to want to save it as Rick's test header 960 by 150 and that's exactly what we want so it's going to save that to our desktop okay we can now close this and here is our new header resized to exactly the size that will fit on our blog so then now that I have that information what I would do is I'd go back to the back dashboard of my blog and where it says upload image you could browse your computer right there and you would find the one that says 960 by 150 there it is Rick test header 960 by 150 you would click on that open it up I'm not gonna do it because I already have one and then just push upload and when you push upload voila it'll be there and it'll look just like that okay that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, make sure that you uh, make sure that you get a hold of me. It's Skype is Coach Ham. Um, my email address uh, is uh, Coach Hamilton at uh, gmail.com. Uh, if you don't have a blog, my suggestion is you get one. Every serious marketer should have a blog, and you can get one at the Free Blog Factory. Um, my website, as you can see, is whoisrickhamilton.com. So if you have any questions whatsoever, get a hold of me, and I'll be glad to answer them if I can. With that, have fun, build a header, and get it on your blog.